Right, morning again. Second video, eight o'clock. I'm absolutely on fire today. Right, as promised, we're going to take a look at the weather for southeast England for the week ahead. Some subtle changes this week. It could get a little bit warmer for a while, but don't blink or you'll miss it, I think. Right, so let's take a look at the central England temperature so far this month. We're running at 16.5 degrees. That's point four, or should I say 16.3. That's 0.5 degrees above average for the time of year. Right, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look at what's going on in my back garden here in Folkestone. So, yeah, as you can see, the big story here so far is the amount of rain that we've had. What we're only five or six days in, but already here in Folkestone, I've had 35.61 millimetres of rain. Now, considering that the average for August should be around about 55 millimetres, we've already had 60 millimetres of rain in that first five days and i think that's a scene that's been replicated in many places across southeast england right the reason for it and you don't get away with a forecast very often without me posting the jet stream but it is the reason for our weather and the patterns and the way the heat gets pushed around and the reason why it has been so cool is this jet stream we've had it now firing away across the south of england for the best part of three or four weeks and that's taken all that, that cool air from the North Atlantic down into Europe. And if we see the temperature anomalies, these are the anomalies today. Now, somebody asked me about these the other day. What are these anomalies? They're, they look really good. Right. OK, so what it is, is these, if you just look at the curse, I'm just going to run it over. If it just fires up for me. Come on. Right. Here we go. So I'm going to run this cursor over London, just to the south of London. It says minus three. Right, that minus three is a deviation from the average. So today, at one o'clock this afternoon, those temperatures across the London area will be three or four degrees below the average. So the average is around about 23 degrees at this time of year. Take off all from that, you're looking at around about 19 degrees. So that kind of just gives you a good flavour for, you know, where the heat waves are, where, you know where the heat's going really because you know wherever the cold is there's always going to be what goes up must come down and so this cold trough that's digging down into you it's being compensated for by some you know quite decent heat across many parts of the far east of europe and russia at the moment so that's where the heat is it's all out to the east it's not down in the med it's over towards portugal and it's over towards russia and that's because of that jet stream that's taking that cool air into europe so that is the anomaly today Right, I've mentioned things are going to improve somewhat, and this is the jet stream profile by Thursday. So notice, sorry, going back to that, how that heat is getting pumped up by a kink in the jet across Eastern Europe. That's earlier, well, that's today. And then this is the behaviour of the kink of the jet across the UK by Thursday. So there you go. Look, we've got a kink of air you'd expect to see warmer air coming up with that and if we run the anomalies on for thursday there you go look there's the anomalies they're starting to push up warmer air into the uk all because of that jet has taken some warmth but please as i mentioned don't get excited about this because by the time we get to um thursday friday so i'm going to run this jet profile through so this is the situation on thursday the warm air comes in but by friday look that jet is already starting to return to its happy home just to the south of the uk and by the weekend it's back to pretty much where it was firing its way across the southern parts of the uk so as i've mentioned it will warm up but don't get excited this is not going to be a water wall sunshine heat wave OK, so they're the temperature anomalies by Thursday. So things do warm up. Right. OK, so we're going to just take a quick look at the facts chart. So this was the or This is the situation today. That deep area of low pressure we had yesterday has now pushed into the southern North Sea. And in its wake, we've got these cool northerly breezes blowing tomorrow. We've got a bit of a ridge coming in, coming up from the south. So things will start to dry up this bridge will actually give us a drier day just a few isolated showers tomorrow here's the ridge so i just put this little high on and this what this does it just just keeps the showers at bay when we get to this so this is monday by tuesday 
We're relatively dry. We've still got a weak ridge. There are some fronts pushing in from the west or the southwest that threaten a little bit of drizzly rain later on in the day. And then by Wednesday, there you see this area of high pressure starting to become a little bit more dominant by that stage. And also by that stage, we'll be starting to draw up warmer air from the south. And then by Thursday, that area of high pressure will be sitting across Eastern Europe. And we will be then, for a while at least, bringing up some quite warm south or south easterly breezes. Right, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a look at the, we've looked at the jet stream, we're going to have a look at the WX charts now to see how the weather will be playing out from the sky. We've looked at the air masses, we've looked at the jet stream and temperature anomalies. We're now just going to see what goes on with the weather. So that's what we're mainly here for. So today, a dry, fine start. Sunny skies, but showers will be developing this afternoon. Not everywhere, some parts to the east of London, um, where you've got your deluges on Friday. You may be spared today, but those showers will die out this evening. Tomorrow, as I've mentioned, the weak ridge of her, uh, high pressure pushes in. A, a drier day tomorrow, very little amounts of cloud, just the risk of one or two afternoon showers. Push forward to Tuesday. Again, a bit cloudier on Tuesday, breezes coming in from the west, just the chance of the odd spot of light rain or drizzle later in the day. But I think a mainly dry day is on offer on Tuesday, perhaps a little bit more drizzle towards the evening. By Wednesday, things do start to improve. The area of high pressure starts to develop just to the southeast of us. So, as I mentioned, things will start to warm up on Wednesday. It should be a dry day, should be fine, more in the way of sunny skies and temperatures finally above average. Thursday is your warmer day. Look, there we go. We're starting to bring up breezes from the south on, on Thursday. Let's get that cursor back there and it will be mainly dry. So some sunny skies, warm temperatures, variable amounts of cloud. But by the time we get to later, let's get this to Friday. Already, we've lost that southerly flow. The breezes are starting to blow back in from the west. And by Friday morning, some showers will be pushing back across. For next weekend, there you go. Once again, low pressure to the north of the UK. Westerly breezes, temperatures no better than average. The status quo that we've seen for much of July and August is maintained. So just make the most of those warmer days, Wednesday through to Friday, I would suggest. Right, here are the ensembles. So just to see if we've got confidence in these solutions. And well, we call cool certainly for the next three days by the 9th. So where's that? That's Wednesday. Them temperatures do start to pick up. And then on Thursday, they peak. So if we just put these are your temperatures for London. These are the mean average temperatures. So <laughs> for a couple of days, at least temperatures will get above average. But yeah, I know the media have been talking about heat waves. Don't believe it. This is what you're going to be getting. Right. So things cool down again by next weekend. In terms of rainfall, so we get the rainfall spikes today. We've got a few showers. There's a few bits and pieces on Tuesday and again towards next weekend when we start to bring in some more weather Atlantic fronts. But certainly it's not dry. It's not consistently dry and it's certainly not that summery. And then these are your breezes at Folkestone on the beach. So we're still quite breezy today. Another bit more breeze coming through around about the 8th in a couple of days on Tuesday as that little low comes through. A bit of respite around the 10th through to the 11th as we bring in that warmer southerly feed. But next weekend, those breezes are back from the west. And pressure patterns, well, all fairly academic. Don't really tell the true story. Up and down for the next few days, perhaps around the 13th in a week's time those pressures, some of those pressure anomalies start to pick up. So just the chance that things could be a little bit drier. So that is it in summary, I'm afraid. I can't really offer you anything in terms of anything substantially settled and warm for any long length of time, but temperatures will be improving. So in summary, cool for the next few days, sunshine and showers, drying up for a while at least, but get that heat warmth spike call it what you like mid 20s by thursday friday but cooling off soon after and that'll be it so i hope you've all found that forecast useful i'll be back later on with the written summary looking at the week ahead just really just to summarize this again but in the meantime thanks for watching thanks for all the likes and the shares i'm starting to get a few subscribers at last as well it'd be nice to get to 500 by the end of this week but yeah get about your day now enjoy the sunshine while you can and ciao for now